Oops. Well, here it is. My hair. Easter Sunday. Happy Easter to everyone. Everybody's still asleep upstairs. I couldn't sleep. I come down and got my orange juice, did my devotional, and now I'm going to kind of putter around down here for a little bit. Um, if you can see, pretty cool, is uh, this is the car I've been working on, Dodge Stealth. You can see that it's, uh, maybe not be able to pick it out too well, but uh, it's gray. It's been primered. And uh, so now what I got to do is uh, paint it. And uh, it's not a hard process, but you got to get to give it some thought. Uh, I, I don't know if you can see this, but my cars, I got it on a lazy Susan so I can turn it and paint it at the same time. I'm going to get that away right now so I can show you some stuff. But that's how I paint my cars. I put them on that Lazy Susan. I can turn it around and uh, get it from all angles. It makes it a little easier. And then right here, you can see it. Those are my paint brushes. I've got three of them. This one here. And I got two others. I tell you, if you look at them, they're almost identical. They're very similar. See? See? Um, so I won't talk about those because they're pretty much the same. But I will talk about this one right here. This is an air gun, air brush. It's um, gravity fed, meaning that you put paint in here, put this in those little cap. There's water in there right now. Can you see the water? I do that so the paint doesn't dry and clog it all up. I put water in there, and then by doing that, um, it always flows. Now watch this. This here is the trigger. See it? And I'll do it. I think if I do it just right, let's see. There it goes. Can you see it? Look. That's just water. I wouldn't, I wouldn't wash your mouth with it, but you hear it hiss? A little bit, you're gonna hear my compressor kick on, so it's a little, it's not really loud, but you won't be able to hear me talk. So anyways, there's some things going on on this. This here is just a barrel, but if I take it apart, let me, if I take it apart, this just unscrews. And then you can see right down here, can you see that? That's a needle, it goes from here all the way to the other end down here and the paint is held in this body up here and the paint falls down goes down air comes up through here there's an air compressor that's at the other end of this air comes up it goes by here and it draws the paint down and then it goes out the nozzle and it does all that by my little trigger here and that is pretty simple but it's kind of complicated because that little needle at the end of this thing right in there that little needle you can't really see it um you could stab yourself with that thing it's really uh it's really really pointy and it's actually point three millimeters at the the base of it so it's very very tiny and the reason that is so you can put thin thin lines and now what you got to do is you got to get the paint mixed just right so it'll go through that tiny tiny little hole over there now there's different kinds of paints you can use um, i use one that's called vallejo that's the name of the company and uh, there's other companies. There's, there's a bunch out there. Um, and I use Vallejo because it's already mixed. And there's there's different kinds of paint. And this is like model color. But if you look real co close down there, you'll see it's made by Vallejo. You see it there. And then this particular one is, uh, what is this? This is Tan Earth. I probably got maybe 200 of these. Um, the difference, you know, this is Vallejo as well. 
see this one. Here it is. Okay. So here's model. Both of these are Vallejo. The one's got a black top on it. See it there, the black top? And the one's got a white top. The white top means it's not mixed. That means you got to add whatever to it to thin it down. You know, you can use it by itself with a brush, and it's kind of thick, and it'll work. It's okay. Um, typically, though, you want to mix, you know, like a drop of this to a drop of water. And speaking of drops, the way I do that is I got a little dropper. And I do mean drop. I mean, you just go plop, and then with that plop, and you got enough paint to make to go for a little ways. Now this one here with the black top, this is already mixed. This one's already mixed. You just put it right in the gun, start shooting. And uh, this is the color I'm gonna be painting that Dodge Stealth. It's white, and that's what the color of the car would be at the end. But we're going to do something a little different. I want this car to look like it's had some rust, that it's been around. We've already painted the bottom. Remember I showed you earlier to make it look rusty and dirty. So the top of this. Now, here's the thing about this car. Um, the body that I showed you earlier, this one, in real life, this is probably be all metal, except for down here by the doors. I think down here... That's a plastic part. I'm not positive, but I do believe that that was plastic. But I think the door, and I know the body in the back, and I do know the roof, were all metal. So metal rusts eventually. Now I know that these plastic parts here, the bumper in the back and the front and the hood, I know those were all plastic. I know the hood is uh, fiberglass. Those don't rust. So here's what I got to do. I'm going to paint these separately, and the way I'm going to do it is the bumper and the hood and that, that's just going to get painted white, and I'll show you how I'm going to make it look um, like it's all worn. If you think about it, next time you're out walking around, you see a car, the plastic that's a little older, look at it, you'll see that it's kind of worn on it, you'll see that some of the plastic's coming through, sometimes it's cracked and that. So that's what I'm going to do with this. This is going to have some cracks in it, and it's going to look like it's worn, okay? But the car now, the car's a different story. That one's going to be rusted. And the way you do this, there's a couple few different techniques. I'm going to do them all on this one here. Is that you paint the car first with rust. And that paint is this one right here. And if, you, if I can get the phone to focus, you can see the color of it is rust. It's got a number to it. See that 71080? And when this dries, it looks like old rust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint not all the car, but it's going to be most of the car. All right. I'm going to paint it with rust. And this is the crazy thing. This is you're going to you're not going to believe me, but watch this. I'm reaching right over here. Then after I paint it with that rust, I'm going to use hairspray. This is this is Laura's, but she hasn't missed it yet, and it's been down here for a while. I don't even know if that she knows it's down here, but I'm going to cover it with hairspray. Now this is crazy. What the hairspray does is it protects that paint. I'm going to put this rust color down, and then I'm going to protect it so that water or nothing will wash it off. It's going to be there forever. Then, this is crazy, watch this. See this here? See that? Let's see if we can get it away. That's salt and baking soda. This is cool. You mix that a little bit with water, and then you put it on top of the model where, where it would rust. In this case, I'm gonna put it on the roof. I'm going to put it right across the top of this fender right here. And then down here, right along the door line, I'll put that slushy, mush, salty thing there. And uh, probably about back here by the window, by the rear window, right along the edge here. Same thing with on the other side. And then you put that salt in there and you let it dry. It'll turn crusty, hard. And then what you do is you get your final color, white, and I paint over it, paint all of it. And uh, 
so now I got the base color, rust. Hairspray that protects it from water. Key thing, water. Cover it with that salty solution so that it, um, it's got little cakes on areas where rust would normally form, like on the roof or along the windows, down along the bottoms of the, the doors. If you go shopping or whatever, uh, along there, you look down at the, the cars, you'll see where they rust at, uh, around the door pillars on, on side of the, the uh, wheel wells and that. So you got that salt there. Then when you hit it with the white and you let it dry, but not like dry, dry, dry. You let it dry for 30, 40 minutes, so it's it's dried, but it's not completely done yet. And then here's the thing you do. You get a cup of water, which I got right here, and a paintbrush, which I got right here. You dunk it in the water, and then you brush the salt away very carefully. You don't, we're not rubbing this off. We're just let, gently letting the water dissolve the salt. And then let that takes that paint off. So what you got left then is you got where the salt wasn't stays white. Where the salt was, the salt dissolves, washes away, and the rusted part is below it, protected by water, and it shines through. So wherever the salt was is now brown. Wherever the salt wasn't is now white. And then it looks like it's rusted which is pretty cool. I've done this a few times. It looks really neat. And then I've got probably about four other colors that are rust. If you look at rust, when it's all done, when it's really, really old, if you go to a farm or wherever you look at a farm, it's dark, dark brown, dark, dark brown. But when it's new, like when you get a scratch in a car, it's orange. And then it's actually, it can actually almost get to almost a yellowish color. So I've got four or five colors. I got dark, dark brown. I've got a lighter brown. I got an orangish brown, and then I got a yellowish orangish brown. And those are all different varies, uh, different ways of showing rust. So that's the first stage. Sounds like a lot, but actually it's only the first stage of how I'm going to weather this car because once I get that rusting done, and they call that salt method, the salt method, or the hairspray method, depending on who's you're talking to. Once you get that done, then I'm going to go back and do what's called a wash. And what it is, it's a paint, but it's really, really thin, very, very thin. Um, you, you, you could almost, you, you could, you could see through it. It's just got a, just a little bit of a hue of brown or reddish thing. And then I'll wash the whole car with that. So if you look at a car that's rusting, you'll know that the dark, dark brown's old, orange is new. And then that film that comes on there afterward, that's from the oxidization, the oxide, I, I can't even believe I can say that this early, oxidization, uh, will go over. So that's what's going to happen to this car. Um, so that's kind of in a nutshell what's going on. Got my airbrush, got my paints, got my water, got my salt. Next thing to do is to get started. So you have a happy Easter and we'll check you next time.